So, my name is Noel, and I work with Ishke. We're a human rights advocacy service for people who use drugs. And for most of my life, I was stigmatized for drug use. My family was stigmatized over my drug use. Anybody I knew that weren't using drugs were stigmatized over my drug use. Um, I didn't know at the time I was being stigmatized because I've only learned about stigmatism the past couple of years, but people do it, you don't even realize that they own it, and yeah, it's hard. But we went to a world cafe to, to make a toolkit for peer led work for, to get our voices heard around all the situations about the stigma about. Uh, all the problems you faced and homelessness and the trauma and people don't realize that people who use drugs most of it stems from trauma it's to numb the, the it's to numb the feeling of the trauma so we we, we went to a war cafe where it was a, a, a an exchange of knowledge so if we had more cafes like this where it w we had safe spaces for people to collaborate from different services because I think in Dublin the services are all in competition and I don't think it should be like that. I think they should be all collaborating and you know seeing us all as humans and not stigmatizing us at, at all. So yeah the World Cafe was brilliant and at the minute they're building a safe injection site down in um, Merchant's Key, but at, because it was a, a heroin crisis, they turned it into a safe injection site. We haven't got a heroin crisis anymore. We have a crack crisis. So that room is going to be no good to half of the people in Dublin that are on drugs because a lot of them are, the crack is the trend now. So where are they going to go? They can't go into the safe injection suit because they can't smoke in there. They're not allowed to smoke in the safe injection suit. So I think it has to be changed to a safe consumption room. And we need to have spaces, safe spaces, for people to come on board, share their opin opinions, no judgment, no, like Ishke, where I, where I work, there's no judgment. There's no, you don't have to be off drugs, you don't have to, you know, the only, the only criteria for you to work with Ishka is you have to be a person who has lived or living experience of drugs. Not true family, not true somebody else being on drugs yourself. You have to be a lived or living experience of, to work in Ishka. And when I came here, I came here four years ago probably three and a half, and it has totally changed my life. I've learned about stigma. The past couple of months we've been doing this anti-stigma campaign, which I think should be rolled out across the whole country, because even some of the services, even Merchants Key, some of them don't even realize they're doing it, but they're doing it. They're looking you up and down, and they're, where is he from? What's he up to? What's he in here for? And so, yeah, and to deregulate naloxone, start saving lives. What's the point in holding back a drug that can save lives? Like, it, it can cause no harm to you. You can get it in the nasal spray, you can get it in an injection. It doesn't do, the only thing it does is reverse the, the effects of an overdose. If you took naloxone today, nothing would happen to you, unless you were on opiates, then you'd it block your receptors, so then you wouldn't be on, you wouldn't be feeling the effects of heroin until the naloxone wears off. But you have to be on a clinic, or you have to bump into us as we do outreach training to do a naloxone. Whereas if it's big regulated, a family member that isn't on drugs but has a son, or has a daughter, or has a brother, or has a sister or a nephew, or a whoever, somebody in the family is on heroin. They should be able to just walk into the chemist, like any cold medicine flu, 
and I get naloxone. How much is it? 